Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's November 2nd, 2020. I'm inside in the work area today. It's snowing and blowing like crazy outside today. So I thought I'd make another, uh, cover another topic in investing. And this is one of our superpowers, if we understand what this power actually is. And the power is, uh, is our, uh, is basically exponential growth or our, our base, basically compounded interest on our investments. And, uh, and exponential growth is, is one of those things that's, that's really challenging to understand. And, but first, I, I, I'll say that uh, Albert Einstein has been reputed to have said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't understand it, pays for it. Uh, so th those are really important words from Albert Einstein. He was a pretty bright guy. But I didn't understand, I didn't really grok or completely comprehend what, what, what exponential growth actually means. So I thought I'd give you an example of, uh, of exponential growth uh, that I received when I was doing my undergraduate work at SUNY Oswego. And I was in a microbiology class and we're talking about uh, various microorganisms. And in this case, we're talking about E. coli. Now, E. coli, yes, there are pathologic E. coli, but there's also commensal uh, microorganisms that live in our digestive system, and E. coli is one of them. And it's a, a rod-shaped bacteria that divides by binary fission, meaning it splits in half, and, and, and that takes about 20 minutes for one bacteria under ideal circumstances to split into two bacteria. And then those two bacteria can split into four. And so the professor asked us uh, in, in the class, you know, uh, in 36 hours, if he had unrestricted growth of E. coli, knowing that it divides every 20 minutes and there's nothing restricting it, there's plenty of food sources, there's no toxins, there's no predators, there's plenty of space for them to, to replicate, uh, how many bacteria would you have in 36 hours? And, you know, there are all sorts of wild guesses and all. But at the end of 36 hours, one bacteria dividing without any restrictions every 20 minutes would end up, well, in one hour we'd have eight bacteria. But in 36 hours, the entire Earth's surface, including the oceans, the seas, all the land masses and all, the entire surface of the Earth would be covered in one foot thick of bacteria, of E. coli. And of course, that never happens in real life. There's lots of restrictions and resource, uh, uh, limited resources, toxins, predators, uh, you know, solar radiation, all of those sorts of things that would not allow that to happen. But it gives you an, a, a, an example of unrestricted exponential growth is. And so we're always looking for that possibility of these companies demonstrating some exponential growth over time. And so another example of exponential growth is if we were to take one penny and double it every day for 30 days, it's mind blowing. So in one week's time, that one penny being doubled every single day would end up being 64 cents. In two weeks time, that, that penny would have doubled into $81.92. In three weeks time, that would have t doubled and uh, uh, seven more times and been $10,485.76. In 28 days, it'd be $1,342,177.28. And then on day 30, we, it, that penny having been doubled every day for the, for the last 30 days would be $5,368,709.12. That's an example of exponential growth. So, so we're talking about doubling. So the power of 72, that's an important number. It, it's a rough approximation, but it gives you an idea, idea of how long it would take for your investment to double if you know what the interest, what, what the uh, return on investment is. So, for example, the S&P 500, which is one of the major indexes in, in the uh, financial markets, on average, over the last 90 years, it's returned 9.8% interest on average annualized annual 
um, uh, return on investment. Now, of course, there were there was the Great Depressions and recessions and the major booms and all, but if you're to average it all out, what I read was it was 9.8% uh, return on investment. So what we can do when we know that, um, that, that our, our return on investment, we can see how long it would take things to double. But let's, let's think about the power of doubling first. So if we want to see what we, we talked about exponential growth, if we take our investment, whatever that amount is, and we double it, um, it, it let's say in whatever period of time, one doubling would take the initial investment and make it two, two, two X. That two after the second doubling would be four X. That four after the third doubling would be eight X. The 8x would, would turn into 16x after the fourth doubling, and that 16x would turn into 32 times whatever your initial investment would be after five doublings. So doubling is really super uh, powerful. It's, it's that whole exponential growth. And the shorter period of time that we can calculate uh, that it takes for our investment to double depends on the return on investment or the rate of return of the, of the stock or the company that you're invested in or the companies. You'd average them all out. So I'm always looking for at least a 32x return on my investment. And I really don't want anything that isn't going to double at least five times. Hopefully, six, uh, we, we want to have a, a 1,024 return on our investment, which would be uh, taking it to uh, 10 doublings. It isn't 64 from 32 to 64. And so if we, we, go, we, we double the period of time, uh, then we can actually go from 32x to 1,024x. Uh, and I'll give examples of these. Uh, so how do we calculate with that 9% and 9.8% return on investment of the S&P 500? If we take the number 72, and that's the important number to remember, and we divide the percentage into that 72, we end up with the number of years it takes to double the investment. So if you take 72 and you divide it by 9.8, you end up with 7.34 years. So it takes, if you're invested in S&P 500, every, over the last 90 years, you would, on average, uh, double your investment every 7.34 years. Well, let's say we've got a 12% um, uh, return on investment. Well, 12 into 72 is going to be six years. So every six years, you're going to have a doubling of your money. If you have a 20% uh, uh, return on investment, we divide that 20% into the 72, and we end up with every 3.6 years, we get a, a, uh, a doubling of our money. So always try, and the reason that I'm going over this is that I'm always looking for those companies that are in a rapid growth, in a rapid accelerated growth. And we've talked about some of the uh, areas that I'm interested in in this day and age where we have all of this disruptive uh, innovations and technologies that are changing, uh, that, that, are, that are taking over um, established or legacy corporations. Some of these places are going to go out of business, but these, these rapidly growing and developing co companies are going to experience higher and higher return on investments for periods of time. Not always, but there's like Amazon, uh, during the first years of Amazon, uh, they just burned money and burned money and burned money because they were reinvesting it in new, new uh, monopolies, new other advent, advent, adventures that would ultimately be coming money-making machines. And now Amazon is, is, a, is a monster of a company and a real uh, monopoly. So by using, remembering the number 72, the power of 72, we divide with the, retur the annualized return on investment into that 72. We can approximate how many years it would take to double your money. The shorter the period of time to double your money, the more doublings you can have over your investment life, lifespan. So let's look at a, at a couple of, of uh, how long will it take to 32x. Remember I, t I said five doublings gets you 32x uh, of a $100,000 investment. So if we had $100,000 
and we had a 9.8 ret percent uh, return on investment, such as the S&P 500, the average and all. If we have $100,000, and we know that it takes 7.34 years, so uh, $100,000 would turn into uh, $200,000 in approximately 7.34 years. The $200,000 would turn into $400,000 in 14.68 years. That $400,000 would turn into $800,000 in 22.02 years. That $800,000 would turn into $1.6 million in 29.36 years. And that $1.6 million would turn into $3.2 million in 36.7 years. So if you're invested $100,000 in just over, uh, I, with an average of 9.8% uh, return on investment, uh, over a 36.7 years, then $100,000 would turn into approximately $3.2 million. So, so starting earlier makes a lot of sense, especially if you're not going to beat the, the average return on investment like the S&P 500. Okay, let's look at a situation where we have a 20% instead of the 9.8% that we talked about historically with the S&P 500. Let's just bump it up and say we're really careful and we go with 20% return on investment uh, annualized, uh, you know, for multiple years. And we go for the for the same 36. We go for 36 years, similar to talking about we had 3.2 million dollars from a hundred thousand dollar investment with our investment in the S&P 500 index. Well, uh, let's go ahead and look at what would happen over approximately the same time. So remember, 72 divided by 20 is 3.6 years. So it only takes 3.6 years to double your, your amount. So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to double our amount 10 times uh, for 36 years, comparable period of time for our investment for the uh, S&P 500, but this is another fictitious company. Uh, so we take $100,000 and in 3.6 years, it becomes 200,000. That 200,000 becomes 400,000 in 7.2 years, and 400,000 becomes 800,000 in 10.8 years, 800,000 becomes 1.6 million in 14.4 years, and 1.6 becomes 3.2 million in just 18 years, as opposed to the 36.7 years invested in the S&P 500. So, that's really important. That uh, 3 million, uh, 3.2 million becomes 6.4 million in 21.6 years. The 6.4 million becomes 12.8 million in 25.2 years. The uh, 12.8 million becomes 25.6. I'm sorry, I did that one. 28.8 years, and then 25.6 million becomes 51 million 200,000 in 32.4 years, and that 51 million 200,000 becomes 102 million 400,000 in six in 36 years. That's a, a, a 1,024 multiple of your initial hundred thousand dollar investment. That truly is a superpower. So by trying to, for and this is this is not day trading. This this really requires someone to invest long term, and means that it has to be in like a um, a tax deferred account, like an IRA or 401k, something like this, or you're paying. <laughs> In other words, you're not paying taxes on it, taking money out of it, unless you pay taxes separately, and you're leaving all of the interest that accrues over time and having that become part of the principal and making more and more, uh, more of a return on investment of the principal and the interest that, that gathered together. So no money is getting taken out. And again, one of the challenging things is that uh, some companies that look like they have great potential they're very volatile and they're really risky. They need to have a moat. They need to have 
they need to be vertically integrated. They need to be incorporating all of these different technologies that I talked about before. Uh, they need to have the right team, the right CEO, the, 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 the right team of people to not only have the mission and have the resources, but be willing to spend, 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 and not make a profit in the initial years as they build up their structure to be ahead of everyone else, to be you know, years ahead of anybody else who's, there's, there is no competition. No one's coming right away. People are always going to be on your, on your tail feathers way back there, uh, years behind you as you're constantly innovating, constantly vertically integrating, constantly expanding and, and, and generating more sources of revenue and all. And those are the things we're gonna talk about as well. So I think I'll stop the video right about here. I hope all of this makes sense. I'll, I'll definitely try and incorporate a few images in this video so you're just not hearing me speak about it. But there's many other examples of exponential growth. There's calculators online to, to, to see what, and this isn't simple interest rate, this is compounded interest rate. And this is annually compounded interest rate. So if we look at quarterly reports, we have to you know, add them all up and see what the annual return on investment is, what the growth rate of that company actually is. So uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here at this point. If you found this information of value, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, I think some of this foundational information is really important, not just to get you excited about investing, but to have, have a better comprehension and have more self-control, leaving the money in there uh, so that it can, can continue to grow. The real caveat is you need to do your homework ahead of time and make sure that you're investing in a, in a company where there'll be volatility as like right now there's, uh, the pandemic is stirring up again, we have an election coming on, there's gonna be fluctuations in the market and all. So you need to be um, emotionally com comfortable, able to withstand the roller coaster ride of the volatility of the investment, of the, of, the, of, the, uh, of the whole stock market and be able to maintain, after doing all that homework, so maintain your investments, still doing due diligence regularly to make sure that your, the company that you're buying into is capable of withstanding the storms that come before them, before them as well. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Um, and by all means, folks, stay safe, take good care of yourselves. And think about these things, compounded interest rate, superpowers, the power of 72, and exponential growth. There's lots of great possibilities. Take care, folks. Bye-bye now.